Hello all. In this series of tutorials I'm going to be showing you how to turn something like this 2D drawing into into, into this. It's going to involve quite a few design spot mechanical tools, in particular the spline tool which is quite special and it has certain characteristics which you may not be familiar with. So the first thing to do will be to explain some of the um, peculiarities of the spline tool. So we'll start off with a little mini tutorial on how to manipulate with the spline tool. Now what we'll do in this little mini tutorial we'll show the essential difference between using straight lines to emulate a circle and the spline. So we'll make ourselves a decent circle and suppose we try and emulate this circle with straight lines. Obviously the more straight lines you put in the better the circle will appear. Anyway, I'll, I'll not put them all in, I'll just do a semicircle here. And if I uncheck the circle, we see obviously this is made of straight lines. We've got quite a ruggy looking circle, small semicircle, and a load of straight lines. So, if we back out of all this, take all the <coughs> and then use a spline up here. And by using only four lines, four points rather, one, you think, oh, well, this is, uh, this is hopeless. This isn't going to be nowhere, this is going to be a square. However, still hopeless, you, you think. No, I near a circle. No, this is not going to work. But watch what happens when you close the spline. It's still not a perfect circle, but it's by no means terribly far away from the circle. We'll go up here of course however if we just go one step further we'll back out of this and instead of four points or knots we do eight and notice I'm not dividing it up into exact angles like um, 90 degree or 45 degree angles just you know approximately Now you might think that's still going to be far away, but the next point, it's the point before this one, you've got, got to watch, like over here, when you're doing this point here, watch the line behind it. It now begins to flex up and follow the circle. And same again, this one you put in, there's this gap here, but watch what happens when you go around to the next point. It's met up with the circle. And again around here, this gap disappears when you do the next one over there. You'll be thinking to yourself, well there's still the gap over here, what happens there? So we continue. See how one knot behind that's following the circle think well yeah, once you close the 
spline we've got nearly a perfect circle with the spline so can you tell the difference I'm going to turn the circle off you're now looking at a spline turn the spline off and the circle back on circle off spline back on so now we've only used eight vertices or knots to achieve almost a perfect circle with a spline so that is the essential difference between using straight lines and splines to curve fit now this is going to be useful in the later stages of this series of tutorials so stay tuned guys and girls bye